So I'm going to start this video. This is going to begin this whole revelation that y'all are going to get. This is the beginning of the world to the end of the world. I know that's just, for anyone to make that statement, it's just, it's far out there. But the evidence and the, the record will speak for itself. That's what's going on the floor in the building. Um, I, the floor hasn't worked out twice. And every time the Lord, I kept hearing the Lord say the twins, the twins. This was originally the, the design for the floor back when the grinding station is where that car was. I just, when I started, I got so ahead of myself just trying to get it done because I wanted everything done quickly because I had already hung the bell that in doing so, I, I neglected probably the most profound part of all of this. And sometimes what the enemy will try and do is get us in such a hurry that we slip up. And the Lord made sure that I accomplished that which we had purposed me for. I am finishing off. This is going to be, these are rays of the sun. They're also sperm. There's also two angels that are identical here and there and then there and over there and these are the longer rays these are the longer rays of the sun here and directly across and then here and directly across from itself over there um, if you were looking at it kind of like a clock you know that would be the 12 o'clock this would be six o'clock three and nine but because of the orientation of the building the whole thing has to be put in at this orientation. To be installed at this orientation, where, where this ray of the sun comes to the corner of the building when you walk in, and this other longer one comes to the corner of the building, as you walk in the building, it makes an X with the, with the one that's opposite it and opposite it. And the, this is what the Lord had originally planned and I've documented that, and it's in the documented history of the production of this. But when I, when I went to install the floor, I hadn't made these cutouts yet. And I kept hearing my spirit, twins, the twins. And that's why two times the floor did not work out because I had not installed the most important part of the whole thing. And that's because the enemy was trying to get me in a hurry. But the Lord made sure that my floor did not succeed by having me uh, not mix part B with one part of the epoxy. And then also another problem with the clear coat. So, so now y'all are about to see a testimony that is so mind boggling, so otherworldly, so supernatural that it's just, it's, it's like an Old Testament story and it's beginning to end of the Bible. And, and this is the way, this is the mechanism, this is the medium through which he communicated it to me. And now I fully understand it completely. And I okay, this is for Kat. So, see Kat, the long ray of the sun can only go to the corner of the room. There's only so much distance from there to there. But the other long ray starts here and it goes to here which is the dividing point. This piece of trim is the dividing point for the upstairs and this, this, this metal right here, this grinded metal right here from here to here, that separates the metallic epoxy from the sculpture, it's metal, and it's that grinded piece in between. So this, this ray of the sun, can, if it goes past here, it would look really stupid, it wouldn't work. But it's done to where it fits exactly from there to here and then from there to here to where it literally looks like that square, this square section was made just for this. I mean, it's like it was planned out and I, I had no clue. I mean, it's... What? What? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm doing a documentation video. I told you guys I would keep you in the loop. So here are the rays of the sun. This is what I forgot to put down on the floor. And when I had my grinding station over there where that car is, uh, I had that set of twins and that set of twins was supposed to be the sun. And these are the rays of the sun and there's supposed to be four different angels. Uh, two from Genesis one, two from Genesis two. 
and to represent the two races that intermingled from that created the entire system. So that's all falling down from heaven on one wall, you know, the Kata Dynasteo pulling down, you know, God's angels and then the commingling with with the other race, the serpent race. Forming the set of twins. This will be the floor in the in the building. And then all those blood cells that the floor makes. The, the floor is a blood matrix because the Bible says the life is in the blood. The life is in the blood via this mechanism because when the Lord God breathed into Adam uh, a living soul, man became a living soul when he breathed into him the breath of life. That's why the number 76 in the New Testament uh, is Adam the first man as a living soul, as a representative of Christ. The Lord has revealed the entire meaning of the Bible and the understanding of our existence to me. And I will show you biblically, and he did it by having me do a physical representation so I could wrap my brain around it. It's the most profound thing I've ever imagined. Okay, okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind all these rays of the sun that are also going to be sperm, fertilizing the egg that formed heteropaternal superfecundation twins. That's an angel and a demon inside one host body, which is exactly what the word spirit means in uh, 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 Ephesians 2. Uh, when you walked according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit at work, the word spirit is pneuma, 4151, I believe is the number, and it means superhuman angel demon. Superhuman, an angel and a demon mixed together within a, a host body. Superhuman angel demon, and then when you get converted from being a superhuman angel demon, because the demon gets destroyed inside of you, you get converted, then you become Christ's Holy Spirit. And that's what's leaving here. That's why the other wall is doves leaving in the form of a spirit. I got this. Awesome. Okay, guys, it's Wednesday night. I just posted the check-in video last night. I'm going to come out here and show y'all what's going on so y'all can see. I just want to fill y'all in. This is, it's so phenomenal what y'all are about to see and get to understand. There is the, the floor medallion that is the set of twins. Um, uh, I'm going to re-pour the entire floor just like it is this uh, red, red, you know, red color like blood cells. And here, let me switch. As you walk in, you'll see that the orientation of the long rays going towards the corner of the building because it's the only way it could be done because the diameter of the twins, the, the rays that go to the wall are very short, and, um, but the ones that go to the corner are very long. And those are the ones that there's angels and there's one angel in that, way, that one and there's an identical angel in that one. Now the other corner one, there's an angel in that one and there's an identical angel in that one. That one, I'm sorry, that represents Genesis 1, 1 race and Genesis 2, the Lord God taking Adam and taking Eve from his side. So you have 1 and 1 and then 1 and 1, representing the system. So the angels that, that fall are come down into the system. There is a right side up and an upside down angel that come together. There are, and down here, there's two angels linked together, representing an angel and a demon linked together in a twin host body system, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And so here they are coming into the system, falling in the Kata Dynasteo, down dynasty. And here's a system, you know, a twin system, which is inside of you and every human being. Uh, you are a superhuman angel demon. That's the spirit that runs you. And then if you get converted, then what leaves, what's leaving here are doves and the silhouette of Christ turning into doves. So the silhouette of Christ turning into doves, uh, you know, and it, the Lord had me do it to where it represents the kingdom of heaven. 
and this light is actually supposed to be going up. So all after going through the system, the twin system, the Spirit of God leaves and it goes up in the form of doves and it's a silhouette of Christ breaking off into doves that are leaving and all returning to heaven. So there it is. And it literally is an understanding of the entire Bible and the system done by this one piece of art. It is absolutely staggering to stand here and look at. Anyway, I'm almost done with it and I will diligently push through. I'm entering through the, the spiral staircase and I'm coming up into this little shower area and uh, I'll turn on the light so you can see there's a stainless shower in the corner that was another miracle there's a little bed area up there that'll be separated by what's called Lexan from this area so steam doesn't go up there so then as you walk through this little entrance from the bathroom there is your there is the um, sculpture that I was told to do of Christ turning into doves into the stars of the universe and the whole thing is just absolutely staggering i mean it is just and guys i'm not saying this because i got to do it i can't believe the lord let me do it and then z equals 26 p equals 16 z is the 26th letter of the alphabet p is 16 2016 is kata dynasteo down there on the wall right there will be the definition of kata dynasteo down dynasty dynasty powerfully bringing down and so there are the angels that are being cast down and that's why they look like sperm as well and that's why they do become sperm fertilizing a twin system and that is redeemed and then the ones that are redeemed are returning back to their first estate which is their first love christ Roll up on this little bunk area right here. This is a fireplace. It's like, it's not really a fireplace. It just looks like a fireplace, but it's actual heater. And then this is stainless up here. So the heat can be on very low and heat up this whole area with not a lot of, you know, electricity. So I'm going to crawl over the edge so you can see what you would see from down here. And I'm going to go ahead and take this blue light and shine it down there on the system. From here it's not, from which all are seeing it looks washed out. From here it is not washed out at all. You can see even the detail of the angels that are in the head of the sperm. And the detail here is just absolutely staggeringly amazing. But the lights um, wash it out when you try and videotape it. I will be using different cameras like I have some GoPro cameras I will use and I will make this into the very best video production lit up I can. But now to understand the dimensions of this building and what the Lord has done here, to understand what he orchestrated without me even knowing it until the very end is one of the most profound biblical, I mean it is so unbelievable what he's done here and he did it all and I didn't even realize it until it was finished until he told me I want you to do this uh, and uh, he was going to show me the meaning behind all of this which he has now all glory to God this is just absolutely phenomenal amen so I'm pretty whipped for the day and the Lord told me earlier today to sleep on it tonight sleep on it as far as doing a video tonight he told me to sleep on it and do it tomorrow which i will do which 
will be I'll be able to put it together in a much more organized fashion. I'm just showing you all the work that's gone into this. I'm in the bunk area. That's metallic epoxy walls there. But there's metallic epoxy behind me. Again, that's like a fireplace heater right there. And then there's the corner stainless bathroom, which I did not install stainless. I had white plastic, but it melted through with the, with the adhesive, so it looked like snakes under it. And my plumber buddy said, Johnny, why don't you just use stainless? And I thought, no kidding, the Lord confirmed it. So the shower makes you stainless, think about it. And so the stainless shower is right here. And then the floor is, is like blood red, looks like blood cells. It's really quite phenomenal. Um, and I'm also going to re-pour this floor. I'm going to re-pour it basically the same um, red. So it's gonna be the same as what, basically what you're looking at. But I'm going to touch it up and fix any little anomalies I do the best I can and so there it is folks I mean this is just so those who are wise shall shine like stars in the firmament and there's just birds everywhere there's birds up here there's birds over there on the dark part some of them are hard to see because they're silhouettes they're just outlined but it is just it is so 3D, it is mind-boggling. It's a better image of the twins. The orientation is is better. I have to I have to rotate it that way a little bit for the orientation. But you can see the set of twins. That one's upside down. It has horns. That's the head of the twin. It's got horns. It's upside down. There's the right side up one. And again, there's the the long flames, which are also sperms, they, they make an X with a circle in the middle, which is exactly what my parachute is. And the dimensions of this building and what the Lord told me, when the Lord told me to look at the dimensions of the building, and I looked at him and I looked him up, I almost couldn't comprehend what he was showing me and what he's done here. It's unbelievable, guys. All right, well, here we go. Kata Dynasteo, down to the twin system, and that which is redeemed, the Spirit of God returns.